Let's look at how to remove noise in an audio recording in Audacity. The first thing I do is bring my file into Audacity. Then I come up to this menu and change this to Waveform DB. This is a view that works a little bit better for noise reduction. Now we have some dialogue audio here, and then in between phrases, we have a whole bunch of noise. Let's go ahead and have a listen. If you are in a car or a plane or a train, this may not be something that works in that particular circumstance. You may need to actually have a good set of headphones and listen in a pretty quiet environment to hear this. In this case, we're going to look at Audacity's noise reduction plugin. Let me give you just a moment of silence here. Okay, let's go ahead and run through this and see. All right, we do definitely have some hiss and noise in between phrases here. Let's take a look at how to reduce that. The first thing you do is you have to tell the noise reduction plugin what is noise. So in your audio recording, you will need a moment of silence. So it's important when you're making your recording to have a point at which no one is talking so you can actually capture the noise. So we'll highlight that noise portion, go up to the effect menu, noise reduction, and click the Get Noise Profile button. So it's taken this section right here and it's saying, and it's analyzing it, saying, oh, okay, this is what the noise is gonna look like. Then we highlight the entire clip. I do a Command A or Control A, back up to the effect menu, back to noise reduction. And this time we have a few different settings we can work with. Let's go ahead and show you what happens if we go really crazy with these settings and crank them all the way up. I've gone to a noise reduction setting of 48, sensitivity 24, frequency smoothing band 6, and leave the noise to reduce. Click OK. Great news. Looks like the noise is gone, but let's listen to it and see what happened. In this case, we're going to look at Audacity's noise reduction plugin. Let me give you just a moment of silence here. It did indeed remove all the noise, plus it took some of the audio with it. <laughs> Probably not what we want. So we're going to Command Z or Control Z. And let's go up and try that again. The effect menu, noise reduction. This time, let's go with a noise reduction of say 6 dB. That's a much more conservative setting and a good place to start in most cases. Also for sensitivity, let's go back down to four. This is a setting that identifies how much of the signal is noise and how much is not. So it's kind of a variable that allows you to tell it how much to, or how aggressive to get. And then for frequency smoothing bands, Ideally, we want to have this to zero. Let's just see what happens when we have it at zero. Again, leave this noise setting to reduce. Click OK. All right, looks like it did reduce some of the noise. It's still there, but let's have a listen. In this case, we're going to look at Audacity's noise reduction plugin. Let me give you just a moment of silence here. Okay, let's go ahead and run. Not bad. It has helped some. It hasn't entirely removed the noise, but that's okay. My strategy is usually to do a couple of passes with the noise reduction filter at very mild settings. Let's do another pass. Go ahead and select the entire clip, back up to effect, noise reduction, and this time we could actually leave it here or maybe even go a little bit more subtle. Let's leave it at six, four, zero, and click OK. All right, looks like we're making some serious headway on that noise. Let's play through it again. In this case, we're going to look at Audacity's noise reduction plugin. Let me give you just a moment of silence here. Okay, let's go ahead and... Pretty good. You can see that our dialogue is still very much intact and the noise is greatly reduced. It's not entirely eliminated, but I would say it's at a point now where it's a lot less distracting. So I hope you found that helpful. Go ahead and leave any questions you may have down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.